Hi Libra, welcome to your August Money and Career Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome in. Thank you. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Libra, so we're looking at work, money, career, finances, wealth, abundance, creativity, whatever we need to know regarding those energies. This is for Libra Sun Moon Rising. Can be for you, Jupiter, at any heavy placements. Male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. Could be in chart or people around you. Um, if you need to switch it around, I guess, um, because of people around you, you can do that. Or cross watchers may be a reading for you if you're wondering how your Libra's uh, money is doing. So we have water. So something here about being um, nourished and refreshed healing maybe some have water in your chart maybe some of you uh, always wanted to do something uh, around water or live near water and we have love heals fear some of you may have a fear of water <laughs> okay that's weird coming up for a career reading uh the power of your love can help bullies and angry people be less afraid and we have water here hmm some of you may be conquering your fear regarding water, especially if you've always wanted to, I don't know, maybe some of you've wanted to be like a marine biologist or something that you would have to be around the ocean or around water. And you're like, might I have a fear of that? I mean, it doesn't have to be that, but water is very healing. So there's something that maybe you've been wanting to do with your life or doing, do as a career or something like that. But you may have a some, there's some part of it where you have a fear surrounding a certain aspect of it and you know water it, it is very nourishing it's also very healing it's about going with the flow it can also be very um you know cleansing it can be about purging so it's definitely here something about needing to go with the flow and heal or get over or um conquer a fear regarding something you're wanting to do there's something about it a little tiny aspect of it that you fear so I know, let's see. Let's see what this means for you, Libra. So, Libra, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist are down there. You can check out past readings. If this doesn't resonate or any other readings, I do consider them all timeless. The month on there is just the time the messages come out. They literally could be for any time. If you're new here, I do eight readings a month, two a week. You can find all the content times days I publish down below. Keep an eye on the community tab in the couple of months. Uh, seeing how my full-time job may be kicking into overtime that happens i'm not sure what i'll be doing i might have to cut back on readings or something but i will put updates on the community tab all right Libra, let's see trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly oh, i just want one more this one failure mm. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Failure, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. I feel like maybe some of you may be, because you have a little bit of fear surrounding some sort of aspect of what your goals, ambition, or drives are, and not following through and not trusting all will work out well, part of you may be feeling like, you know, I'm a failure, I couldn't do it, I couldn't get over my fear. But it's telling you just to trust and just kind of go with the flow and that you can heal and get over this, whatever this means for you. So let's see what else. Libra. I do have a Twin Flame channel, Libra. Link is below if you want to check that out. Just a little channel. Started a few months ago. Uh, some are interested in Twin Flame readings. I don't have time to do the Zodiacs on both channels. And really over there, the Zodiacs, really not, we're not getting a lot of views. Collectors are doing fairly well. So if you're interested in that, I do a weekly check-in. And then I do a monthly masculine, a monthly feminine, a monthly spiritual guidance for separation, as well as a monthly 5D conversation, which is very interesting. All right. Libra, what else do we need to know? Okay, these two. Make time for self-care life-changing epiphany or experience and we kind of have like the ace of swords right here taking care of yourself is essential right now it's a time of big and blessed change for you and god is supporting you each step of the way so it's like taking that sword and just plunging in and just conquering something here and it's for your own self growth nourishment healing expansion so you definitely, you know, it's just about trusting all will work out. Trust everything will be fine. Don't feel like you're a failure. You still can conquer this. You still can do this. You can get over this fear. You can go with the flow. 
and you definitely can have this life-changing epiphany or experience that will help you really pave the way here for whatever this is for you and moving forward so libra let's see let's see for libra money and career august for libra what do we need to know so i'm going to shuffle these up a little bit and cut them and then the bottom card will be your overall energy right now <laughs> ace of cups self-worth self-love self-ambition goals dreams desires self-fulfillment loving loving the chance loving the experience the chance loving your life love just loving that you were able to do and overcome and conquer something and just feeling so blessed and having this new beginning that you would just absolutely love so whatever this dream goal desire is for you it's something that will fulfill your heart mind body and soul and you know that but whatever this fear is of something that you need to either conquer or get over to have this you definitely it's time we do have celebrating here so you could be celebrating this as well knight of cups so we have scorpio energy here so again following your faith your intuition your higher knowing you know letting your heart lead you and trusting your intuition and knowing everything will be fine four of swords you're gonna be overthinking about this way too much lovers it's about doing the right choice for you your heart mind body and soul being aligned with yourself and making that conscious choice gemini energy ten of coins will lead to ultimate growth prosperity wealth abundance for the long term so it's time to bring that balance within yourself of alignment making that conscious right choice instead of overthinking thinking thinking and not doing anything about it and having that ultimate self-love for yourself and being proud of yourself that you could do this all right so let's see we do have wealth growth abundance here with that ten of coins and that's a long term okay well those went flying king of wands and let me get this one sorry guys my creaky chair and two of cups in reverse so again the two twos are about choices decisions and that two of cups is like the lovers so needing to get your fire your ambition your drive back regarding this maybe there's someone around you that can be like a guide inspirational that can help you challenge you guide you to kind of ma finally make this decision that you're needing to make here with this two of cups in reverse so i have leo energy there someone who could be like a leader for you to help you turn this around this two of cups and be again aligned with yourself balanced with within yourself having self growth empowerment alignment empress taking your power back you can do this you can that is libra taurus there's your idea that you've been nurturing creating but it needs time to grow and nourish so you definitely need to make this decision with the two of cups in reverse And the queen of coins capricorn energy so very abundant wealthy prosperous grounded energy being strong stable grounded making your money not having to worry i mean the empress i mean that could be a leader that could be a boss that could be an entrepreneur business owner definitely something birthing creating abundance nurturing energy here so it's time to nurture your ideas your creativity yourself and nurture some sort of fear that you're having regarding this i'm getting something about maybe somebody mentoring uh, or leading you or guiding you in some way maybe to help you get over fear seven of wands it's about setting boundaries but also standing up fighting for what you want palace of cups again living in a space of just total bliss peace harmony joy love caring compassion intuition energy total peace here knight of coins so it's a work in progress here so maybe this has been going on for a long time here knight of coins that's taurus energy but slow steady wins the race this knight does usually cross the finish line so again it's telling you not to give up 
king of swords so i'm getting a lot of um again the king of swords can be somebody of guidance counseling again i'm getting this more as like a leader in some way to give you like empowerment and inspiration this can be more of like a counselor a lead a counselor or a guidance or mentor someone to help get your fire and your passion back someone to help you think clearly and see and overcome i mean it could be a therapist a counselor a guide a mentor but this is definitely seeing clearly here this definitely could be you libra reads gemini but it definitely could be you male or female it doesn't matter seeing clearly knowing exactly what you need to do baby steps to get to your ultimate happiness and peace and you know fighting conquering this fear whatever it is for you seven of coins it's been a long time coming you know, you've already made investments in this whatever it is for you but you're not done investing because the ten of pentacles is there and holding a pentacle here so you definitely there's more pentacles to invest in this investing in yourself nurturing caring for yourself as well eight of wands time to take action without delay and there's the emperor we have the emperor and the empress again there's that balanced aligned energy within yourself being a leader take charge kind of energy all right so let's see maybe you have fear of failure you know and you just need to trust you know don't that could be what you're fearing is failure now that i see here with fear and failure king of coins again the king and the queen of coins there's that inner balance coming up again here so we have virgo nine of cups wish fulfillment happiness and joy you can have your wish fulfillment ultimate happiness here eight of coins you know putting in that dedicated work effort mastering your craft and there's the palace of coins you got the palace of cups and the palace of coins this deck only has four palace cards and there's so there's three extra uh cards in this deck there's the tree of life and there's four palace cards for each suit so this is again living this is beyond the ten of pentacles and you already have the ten of pentacles this is beyond your wildest dreams of growth wealth abundance prosperity for the long term and mushrooms showing here so don't be disillusioned here again thinking that well what if i'm a failure and just putting your self in a tizzy for no reason it's like don't fear failure don't trust everything will be fine go with the flow water and then we have this palace of cups which is water priestess follow your intuition higher knowing you'll learn as you go maybe do more research emperor showing up again aries energy and chariot positive movement forward this is you know success victory drive ambition balance sometimes it could be about being in the limelight being famous or maybe even on social media it could be something about traveling or distance as well so we have cancer showing up definitely here you will rise up here so just keep going here with faith look at this now the palace of wands that is crazy living in a space of feeling so fiery passionate inspired uh, creative getting a lot of ideas feeling really excited about your life as well wow so you have three palace cards here the only one missing is the palace of swords which would be that mental total mental clarity Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Oh my God, three palace cards. Starting with the Ace of Cups, so can't get any better than that. Ten of Swords, yeah, you may be... Let's get a couple more on that. Ten of Wands, oh my God, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Page of Coins. I'm just feeling like here, you're like putting yourself in an ending that didn't even begin yet yeah like failure five of coins stress anxiety here with the nine of swords eight of wands i was about taking action five of swords can be about self-sabotage conflict again now we have the nine of coins you have like the king queen of coins ten of coins palace of coins do we have the ace of coins here i don't think so nine of coins again is very independent self-sufficient abundant having everything you need not having to worry and the six of swords is moving into peace harmony balance again some of you could be moving or traveling 
faith. This is a big level up. You can level up here. Rise up to this. Don't lose hope or faith. Trust in the divine. This is learning, growing, expanding. Wise counsel as well. Maybe that's what some of you need, some sort of wise counsel. But the faith harvest here, which is Taurus, and the Wheel of Fortune. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction. Only gets better. Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, so I saw an ultimate happiness here. So two of coins, it's, not, it's time to stop juggling, especially over fear, because your ultimate happiness is here with the sun, Leo energy. Stop overthinking, four of cups. You are strong, courageous, and brave, and you can do this and overcome any fears, doubt, worries, anxieties. You've been holding back far too long, Leo energy. Wow. So Libra, whatever this is, you definitely, definitely need to conquer these fears and step into, I feel like, your purpose. All right. All right, definitely getting that Ace of Swords right there in that card, which is like that total awakening, epiphany, aha moment, you know, brand new beginning, success, victory, clarity. All right, Libra, so let's get you... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. So <laughs> these fell out kind of weird, but what just fell upright is my Libra Justice card divine order everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see underlying order so again that's like justice things meant for us meant to be oh my gosh cards are just flying all right let me try to get that oh sorry guys so we have here crystal clear intentions be clear about what you desire and focus upon it without uh, out with with unwavering faith and we have the hierophant uh right there which is faith wow all right so it's really time to set those intentions one more indigo and crystal children you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive so it could be about working with children in some way shape or form doesn't have to be maybe you have children maybe this is something you've wanted to do since you were a child Clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. So, and under that we do have all as well. So it could be maybe you wanting, like I said, work from, I don't think I said that, but maybe some of you have been thinking about working from home, but getting uh, rid of any unwanted uh, clutter that may be causing you more stress. Um, clearing your space, your mind, body, soul, physical things. Especially if you wanted to do this from home, whatever this is for you, definitely, definitely uh, is meant for you to do this and conquer that fear and step into your power here is what I feel, Libra. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped it resonate. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlists are down there. So if this didn't resonate, you can check out past readings. If you missed any of them or other readings, I do consider them timeless, regardless of the month. It's just when the messages come out, and they could be for any time. And if you are interested in the Twin Flame channel, that is below as well. So I'm wishing you the best, Libra, and I shall see you next time.